Hi fitness friends, welcome to my channel. This is a glute, thighs, and abs toning workout. All you'll need is a booty band or a mini band. You can also use a set of dumbbells. You'll need a mat for the end of class and we'll be working in intervals, 45 seconds on, 10 seconds off, hard work. Get ready to be sore tomorrow. Let's begin. Just take it down and up. Big reach with the arms. All right, check into your body, check in how are you feeling today? because you are gonna feel amazing after the workout. So remember this feeling, and then we tune into how we feel after the workout, and that gets us here each and every time on the mat, into the workout zone. Time to strengthen our body, time to feel healthy and well. Four more. And three, two more. Reach the arms up, double time pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rise up, squeeze your upper back, pulsing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rise up, give it a squeeze, and pulsing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and right up, last one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right on up. Bring your legs a little wider. Right toe to your right wall, left toe to meet side lunge. Reach, rise, exhale down, inhale up. Now we're starting to feel good. We're starting to feel warm. We're starting to mobilize those joints. Starting to feel ready for some hard work. We can't wait. We love this class, hard work ahead. Two more. Last one, double time pulsing, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and rise on up. Getting warm quickly, left toe to your left wall. Here we go, side lunge, drop, and rise. Big exhale, inhale, big stretch, reach with the arms, sink your hips down towards the mat. And four more, and three, and two, Reach the arms up, double time, pulsing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise on up, bring those legs in a little bit closer, but still wide, full reach, and rise. So with a full reach in those arms, starting to feel heart rate elevate a little bit more, helping us get warm really quickly. Exhale, inhale. All right, your body, your workout, your time for you, 100% focus here on you into the muscles we're working. So focusing on the muscles you're working helps to maximize your time here, helps to maximize your effectiveness in the workout, helps to increase the results. We practice mindfulness here. We practice mindfulness as we walk through life. Four more. Feeling good already. Last two. Last one, you're gonna hold this one down. Right heel, left heel. Right heel, left heel. How are we feeling now? Warmer, better, and ready to work hard. Let's go for four more. And three, and two. Last one, pulsing right heel up, pulsing eight, seven, six, five, four, three, left heel up, pulsing eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good, right heel goes again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, it's time to work. Warm up is over. Begin by holding the band in your hands, right up overhead. The first move is standing at knee crunches, 45 seconds on, begin. We'll pull out on that band, drive the knee right up towards the chest. So we're getting a little cardiovascular. You're feeling your abs. Feeling the abs activate as you pull out on the band. Big out breath as you pull your knee up. And you feel your core react even more. Think about driving your knee right up with muscle control. 15 seconds. All right, next move, 
Pull your hands inside the band, drop into a squat, elbows 90 degrees, rotation squat. So sink into the hips low, pull out and go. We're starting with core and then we're going to annihilate the thighs and the glute. So enjoy this part. Keep your elbows up. You feel your abs, you feel your thighs, you feel your heart rate elevated. Stay with it. Keep pulling out on the band and your core reacts even more. And 15 seconds, come a little lower into those legs. Last five, get a little lower. All right, last one, and then we hit that band on. Going standing oblique, so the right leg and then the left leg. Make sure you pull out on that band the whole time. Really feel abs react, go. Right. Now slow it down here just a bit because I want you to feel the muscles you're working. Side abs, remember to focus. Mindfulness in our workout. What are you feeling here? You should be feeling those side abs, a little crunch of bottom rib down to the hip. Are you still pulling out in the band? Remember, you can always just hold a dumbbell in the hand or even two if you like dumbbells. 15 seconds. Great job, put that band on. Band is just above the knee on the thigh. We're just gonna start towards your, your right wall. Come nice and low, crab walk. One, two, one, two. Now bring the hands right up to chest level. Drop the hips down. One and two. Feel your abs engage. Drop hips nice and low, chest up and proud. One, two. Glutes. Thighs, abs, all working. Feel that party in your body. 20 seconds. All right, now we're gonna slow it down a bit. Legs wider than hips. You're gonna come down. Out, out, in, in, and rise. Right leg only leads. Down, out, in, rise. Drop, out, in, rise. So make sure you get low, then step out, out, in, in, rise. Down, out, in. You're only leading with that right leg. You have a little break in between right there, so that means you can come lower for that squat. Feel that yumminess, nice and low. Good, feel that burn, that's why you're here. 15 seconds, lower than you want to. In, in, rise. Down, out. In, rise. Hello, booty. All right, 10 seconds, shake it out, other side. So again, it's down, out, in, and rise. Left leg lead. All right, let's party. Down, out, in, rise. Make sure you get low, then out. In, rise. Down, out. In, rise. Out, in, rise. Abs engage. Rise, down. All right, guys, 20 seconds. Come a little bit lower. Push out a little bit wider on that band. And drop into it. Feel the burn. That's why you're here. Enjoy the burn. Nice job. All right, the next one is just low squat. Right knee comes up. Now I want you to squeeze your abs. Arms come up if you can. If not, hands to hips. Low knee pull. Slow it down so you feel the muscles you're working. So right here, abs, right here, glute and thigh. Getting cardio too, these are big muscles. 
that require big energy and calories. Get that knee drive, toning up the thighs, activating the core. Use your breath, big out breath here. It's gonna help activate that core. You have 10 seconds to get a burn. Great job, she can get 10 second break. Same thing, other side. So make sure you get really low in the squat and knees are right over the ankle. Arms up, let's go. Left knee. Don't rush this one. Muscle control. See, so you, you're feeling more muscle fibers activate with the slow controlled motion. Big exhale here. Drop down. Push your booty back, so knees right over the ankle, and a big knee drive. Ten seconds, one hundred percent focus. Oh, nice job! Right leg back, left leg up. You're just gonna lunge back with an arabesque kick. You don't have to add the kick, hands to hips or in front. Let's go, down, kick. Now use control, kick and then lunge straight down. Your sit bones go right down to the floor, front knee in line with the ankle. Glute squeeze at the top. Feeling it in your front thigh. The quad, the glute, and the hamstring all working. Almost there, stay strong and focused. Hello, that was a good one. Shake it out, right leg up, left leg back. Remember, perfect lunge form. So the knee is right over the ankle. Let's go, drop, lift. Use control. So don't rush it. Focus on perfect control and form. Abs engage. Your toes are sit bone distance apart. Push that back toe wide back, long back, so that you have a nice long lunge stance. So knee is in line with ankle. Push through your front heel. You're gonna feel that in hamstring a little bit more. A little lower, you're almost there. Legs get a break. You're down into high plank. Down into high plank position. So extend your legs, push the floor away. Front leg taps out, back leg out, front knee in. In, so it's out, out, in, in. You feel your abs, you feel your thighs. Feel free to do the whole thing on your knees. Try to get the round out of the back. Enjoy the sweat, enjoy the burn, enjoy the party happening in your body. This is why you're here, because you love hard workouts. You love to challenge your body. Good job, 10 seconds. Awesome, you're down on your knees. Come onto your forearms. We're gonna do one more plank variation. Push the knees away, then lift off of your knees. Front knee comes wide and down, back knee wide. Low Spider-Man plank. Feel free to go on your knees. Knees are tough, what do you feel? Your abs, yes. Your thighs. Try it again to get the round out of the upper back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting my sweat on. Excellent work. Nice and wide. Stay focused. 20 seconds.
Great job, your back up. Whew. All right, just gonna go for a close squat, wide squat, legs hip distance to begin. Let's go, close squat, wide squat, together, out, together, out. So push hips back, knees over ankles, chest up. Whew. On that push out, get a wide push out, activate band, activate thighs. You're having fun as you get fit. Fit at home, feeling good. 20 seconds. Great job. The right leg is gonna come back, hands to hips or hold on to something. Tilt your chest forward. You're gonna go four big kicks and then eight pulses. Right leg. Let's go four big kicks. Four, three, two. Now hold at the top, pulsing. Eight, six, and four. Nice big kicks, sweep it. Four, abs in. Three, no arching. Two, double time pulse. Eight, four, three, two, big sweeps. Squeeze the glute at the top, tilt the chest forward. Feel that in the standing leg as well, totally normal. Pulse and go, eight, four, three, two, big sweeps. Four, three, two, great job. So standing leg is burning, right? So that means other side is going to have a little bit more of a party. Do your best. Abs engage. Shift the weight forward. Back leg straight. Big sweeps. Four. Steady your eyes. Three. Two. Pulse at the top. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Big sweeps. Point the toe. Active leg. Dead straight. That leg is dead straight. Standing leg softly bent. Let's go pulsing. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Big sweeps, make it big, squeeze at the top. Three, and two. Awesome job, and we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Big sweeps. Whew. Whew, nice job. All right, you're gonna go toe taps. So you're gonna drop into your hips, right leg only taps out for eight, and then up for a little break. So we gotta get low first, tap out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise up, short break, drop and go. Eight, seven, six, five, feeling that. Three, two, and rise up, short break, drop and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rise up, feeling that. Outer thigh, glute, abs. Five, six, seven, eight. Rise, drop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise up. Four seconds. Oh, that was so good. All right, other side. So shake it, get rid of some lactic acid. Invite some more back in. All right, lactic acid, let's get some. Drop in, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise up, drop in, and go. Eight, seven, six, hips back. Four, three, two. Rise up, short break, drop in, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise up, drop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 15 seconds. Love the burn, gang. Drop in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rise up. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. All right, shake your legs. We have curtsy lunge. So right leg only is gonna go back for normal lunge and then curtsy to the side. Hands to hips or in front. Let's go drop and curtsy. Straight back, curtsy. So for that curtsy lunge, leg goes at an angle behind, front toe points straight ahead the whole time. 
If this bothers your knees, stick with your normal lunge. You're really feeling the glute and the outer thigh. This one is excellent for glute. You're feeling the left glute. You're feeling both outer thighs. You're feeling 100% focused. in the thighs. Right leg up, left leg back. If that band's scooting up, just scoot it right back down. Hands up or at hips. Lunge and curtsy. Lunge, curtsy. So think about pushing weight through right heel. Keep chest up and proud and stay steady. So steady your eyes. That's going to help with your balance. 100% focus. You'll work out your body, maximize now, right? Maximize your potential, your fitness, your strength gains. Too much talking, losing my balance. <laughs> All right, stay with it, almost there. Thighs get a break after this. Yes, good burnout. Go back down, high plank. So hands right under shoulders. Push the legs away, it's slow mountain climbers, straight forward. Go, four, straight forward. Three, you feel your abs react with that band. Cross over, opposite wrist. Now straight forward, keep it slow. Four, on the knees is your option. Three, two, cross over. Four, and three, two, and forward, 20 seconds. Cross, four, three, two, and forward, eight seconds. All right, you're back up. Oh, back into those legs. Scoot your band below your knee. We're going duck walk, so come to your back wall. Drop into your hips, hands up, walk forward for four, three, two, walk back for four. All right, so a little duck walk, so you gotta get low. And back, four, you're pushing out on the down the whole time. Chest is up, abs on, bring it back, four. Push your hips back so there's no pressure on the knees. Four, and forward. Yes, hello legs. Come on forward, 18 seconds. Drop in a little bit deeper, and four. Ow. All right, bring that band back up above the knee. It's one squat, one abductor right. Legs wide, hands up, abs engaged, go. Drop squat, right leg abductor, only right leg. Flex foot, squeeze outer thigh. Now don't rush it because I want you to really feel it. Squeeze, drop in, squeeze, use muscle control. Don't rush. Take time to get your full range of motion, full drop, and feel more muscle fibers engage, more strength gains, more fitness, more happiness. All connected. 10 glorious seconds. Stay in the zone. Great job. Cannot wait for the other side. Shake it, shake it. Whatever you need, get rid of some lactic acid. Remember to keep the legs wide, push your booty back. Begin. Down, outer thigh. So it's left leg now. Try not to lean with the movement. Stay upright, stay long, keep that chest lifted. All right, keep it slow and precise. Down, down. Feel what muscles you're working here. Activate with mindfulness, right? Staying here, staying present, feeling the muscles we're working. Hips back, squeeze. Outer thigh, glute, and abs working. A 
All right, who came for a booty burn? Yes, all right, stay with me. You're gonna drop low, you're gonna push your knees out for eight and then halfway rise. Let's go drop, push the knees out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway rise, not all the way, drop and go. Eight, seven, six, five, focus. Halfway rise, drop and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rise, come lower. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 15 seconds, rise. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Mama mia, five seconds, come on. Ah, I'm gonna feel that one tomorrow. This one's all about your abs. Okay, you're gonna bring your hands to your chest and bring your right knee up and you're gonna pump. I want you to feel these muscles pulling. Let's go, pump. And you can touch the toe to the floor in between, or if you're feeling stronger, just keep that knee up and pump. This is a lot of control. This is thigh, you're working your quad, you're working your abs. Feel free to hold on to the wall. Use your balance, test your balance, but if you need to, just hold on to the wall. Breathe and feel strong. Tall, lifted and proud. Squeeze your abs. Awesome, shake it out. Your little water break is right around the corner. A few more moves, same thing, left knee. Arms up, abs engaged, think knee towards the chest. Go so it's up and tap, totally fine. Or we go for the pump, pulsing up, up, up. Really activate your core, strengthening and toning up the quadricep as well. Activating those balance muscles, lots of core muscles. Getting strong, uplifted, and completely alive right now. Come on, a little bit higher. Feel the muscles. Core switches on as you pump your knee just a little higher. Ah, shake it. All right, guys, remember that out, out, in, in. We're going to stay in it the whole time. So drop low, and it's just out, out, in, in, just with the right foot. Drop right foot only out. In, just the right foot. That's out, out, in, in. Push out, chest is up. Now, are you cheating? Come a little lower. No cheating, come on. You're gonna feel amazing all day long. You put in the hard work now, get the rewards, but you gotta suffer to get the rewards, right? No one experienced bliss without suffering. You have to have suffering first, okay? So come a little lower. Yes, there it is, 15 seconds. Yummy suffering. A little lower, 10 seconds. Don't worry, I'm dying too. We're in it together, five. Yes, legs are screaming. All right, we weren't up for that one. You guys ready, other side, so left leg only, out, out, go, out, in, out, in. So chest is up, but your booty drops. Push your hips back, push out. Now, tendency is to start to rise up as you get tired. Come deeper, that's it. A little deeper, challenge yourself. Challenge your current fitness, your current strength level. Out, in. Oh my gosh. Smile, strong, positive thoughts always get you through. 15 seconds, you can do it, gang. Lower now. One more move, and then you have your water break, okay? Whew, shake it, shake it. So it's just gonna drop, you're just gonna drop down, right leg, fire hydrant, now jump in with me. Fire hydrant, and other side. So it's a low squat, bend the knee for the fire hydrant. So it's a little polish off phase. We're polishing off, 
squeezing the glute as you lift that leg. Water break in 25 seconds. Earn it. Come on. Can you go for muscle fatigue? Can you go for pure muscle failure, right? Where the muscles are like, I am done. You have 12 seconds to get there. Thirty seconds water break. Next move is just lunge out to the side. Lunge straight back, jump in with me. Out, so lunge straight back, out to the side. Straight back, out to the side. Slow it down just a wee bit so we really feel the muscles working. I forgot to say this is your right leg. If it's not your right leg, take note. Just don't wanna do the same leg twice. So both toes go straight ahead for that normal lunge, feeling the work in the front glute, thigh, and hamstring. Five seconds. All right, couple more moves, and then we're into floor work. Shake it out. Same thing, left leg. So it's a straight back lunge, push out to the side, jump in. So back and side, so back and side, back, side. Front toe straight ahead. Push through the front heel, abs engage. Keep control, precise and methodical movement. Who has the burn? Yes, me too. Stay in the zone. Stay focused. Love every second of it. 10 seconds, come on. You can do it. Oh, nice job. All right, let's move to our left wall here. We're going for crab walk. So let's get nice and low. Oh. Let's go, drop in for four, three, two, bring it back for four, three, two, stay here, white pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, crab walk, go for four, three, two, bring it back, and four, three, two, white pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it, Four, three, two, and back. Four, three, you finish here pulsing. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay here, stay here. Awesome, right on up, shake it out. Last standing move, guys, back in the center, shake it out. You're gonna go for eight toe taps, and then other side, and we're gonna build it. So drop in, go for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, left leg, tap eight, drop low. Six, five, four, three. Now go for 10, stay low in the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now switch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and go back for four. Three, two, and switch. Four, three, singles. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, nice, you're down. Back into your high plank, working on abs. Hands under shoulders, extend your legs. Slow mount, climb up at this time we pump. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Feel your abs react. Bring it down, switch, pumping eight, seven, keep control. 
four, three, two, and switch. Get the round out of the upper back, squeeze your abs. Five, six, seven, switch, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You have to do the other side. Do all eight, seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two. All right, not much of a break. Down on the forearms, knuckles together, legs wide, knee taps. One, two, then both knees down, up. So right, left, both knees down, up. Right, left, both knees down. Oh yes. How's your abs? How's your thighs? Modification, do the reverse from the knees. Tap, tap, down, up. 20 seconds. Tap, up. Focus, 100%. One, two, down, up. One, two, down, up. Five seconds. All right, you're up onto all fours. Knees are directly under the hips. The front leg only is gonna extend, tap, up, in. Let's go, extend, tap, up, in. Now try not to rotate your body. Keep the body square. We're finishing with flow work. You're almost done. Stay strong, stay focused. Up, in, extend. Tap, up, in, extend, tap, up. Keep the shoulders right over the wrist. Tap, 15 seconds. Hold your glute. We're feeling it. Good job, stay with me. Out, tap, up, in, out. Awesome job. All right, have a quick little break. Move that band down if it's come up. Cannot wait for the other side. All right, you're done in five minutes. Stay with me, back leg out, tap, up, in, out, tap, up, and in, out, tap, up, in. Keep your abs engaged the whole time. Shoulders right over the wrist. Keep your back perfectly flat, no sagging. No arching, no movement in the upper body. It's gonna help protect your back. It's gonna help isolate the gluteals. In and tap up. Tap up in five seconds. All right, last thing here, circle. So come down to your forearms. A little easier to come onto one hand. So the front hand is up. The front knee is gonna come out and you're gonna circle out. So front hand to the mat, back forearm to the mat. All right, so you have a paintbrush on your knee and you're drawing a nice big circle with that paintbrush. You feel your abs, no arching in the back. So guess what? We are getting all three of the gluteal muscles in this class. So squats and lunges typically just get one, sometimes two. Floor work, we get all of them. So you're welcome for that. Proper sculpting of the gluteals. Round booty, lifted booty, sculpted booty, all yours. Five seconds. Little fire in the bum. All right, let's do the other side. Then the booty gets a break. Onto the back hand, forearm only to the mat. Back knee, circle out. So imagine that paintbrush on the knee, you're drawing, you're painting a big circle. So getting that full range of motion is going to guarantee you're getting all of the gluteal muscles. So gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus. So it's the side, the top, and the center. You're getting all of them. Abs engaged. No arching in that back. We're switching to abs in 15 seconds. Come on, burn out the booty. 
getting strong and fit at home. Ooh, flip over onto your bum, legs out in front of you. Come onto your forearms, bring fingertips to the bum. Bring both knees to the chest, extend, open, bring it in, extend, open. Now this ball is your neck, lie on your back. So we're still getting a little bit of thighs, outer thighs, definitely lower abs. So open and in, extend, open and in, slight tuck of the chin, hollow out the tummy. And awesome work guys. 15 seconds, you can do it. On your back, move that band down just above the knees. All right, two exercises and you're done. Hip bridge, you're gonna lift your hips high as you can. You're gonna pulse the knees out, 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 out. So just pulsing out the whole time. Keep those hips lifted. Squeeze your glute like you have a pencil right underneath your butt cheek. Give it a nice big squeeze. Lift your hips high. Try not to look at me in this position. Your neck is in compression. But lift your hips high. Push out a little further than you want to on that band because two exercises. This one and one more and you're done. It's a little higher. You can do it. Come on, make it count. Squeeze that pencil. Don't drop it. Lower down, legs in tabletop position. Hands behind the head. We're doing abs, lower abs, upper abs, and your outer thighs. So you're going to curl up, push the knees out. So let's go. Up, push the knees out. Last exercise. Can you fatigue those abs? So relax your head. Lift as high as you can. Elbows nice and wide. So the higher you lift, more muscles you activate. Lift a little higher. So right off of the shoulder blades, off the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, and lengthen back the neck. Push out on that band. Each and every time you curl up, last exercise. A little higher. Use your abs. Awesome. And down. You are done. Great job. Let's stretch. Just bring your right leg up. Hamstring stretch. Clasp anywhere behind the leg, just not behind the knee. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale. Pull that leg in towards you. Push the knee away. And now assess how you're feeling compared to when you started class. So this feeling gets you here. Remember this feeling, this feeling of accomplishment. Feel proud. This feeling of strength, energy, vitality, and clarity. So many benefits to your regular workout program. So stay consistent, stay positive. All right, now bring ankle to thigh, opposite thigh, figure four, hand position behind hamstring or in front of the shin. Push that front knee out slightly. You can use your elbow. Flex the foot closest to you and then exhale, pull it in. We're getting the glute, the piriformis. These muscles worked really hard today. So really important that we stretch out the muscles after we have contracted them for a long time. It's also gonna help prevent a little bit of DOMS tomorrow. Delayed onset muscle soreness from all that lactic acid we've created. All right, good job. Switch side, hamstring stretch. Again, anywhere behind the leg, just not behind the knee. Take a big inhale. Exhale, just let something go. Relax into it, relax the shoulders. Push the knee away. And feel the feel goods. All those many feel goods you've created. Keep pushing that knee away, inhale. And exhale. Figure four, ankle to thigh, grabbing behind hamstring or in front of the shin, pull legs in towards you as a unit. So important that we take time after our workouts for deep stretching. So any stretch less than 30 seconds is basically ineffective. So we need to 
Be patient, hold for at least 30 seconds, give your muscles time to lengthen. And for more blood flow to come into the muscle, into the joints to help lengthen, help relax, help heal. Take one more deep breath in, deep breath out. Last stretch, roll onto your side, quad stretch. Facing knee, just lie onto your bottom arm. Grab onto the top foot, heel right up to buttocks and knee drop straight down. So make sure it's a straight line from your hip bone to your knee. So the ASIS joint, the bone that sticks out in the front, straight down to your knee and then tuck your pelvis under. Breathe, lengthening your quadricep. Excellent work, take one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Change sides, you can simply roll away from me or roll to the other side. On the bottom arm, grabbing onto the top foot, tuck the knee under your hip, tuck pelvis slightly under and breathe. All right, brand new energy we have created to continue our day, feeling strong, feeling full of health, wellness, and vitality. So stay connected to positive energy. Keep coming back for more workouts each and every time, each and every day, feeling good, feeling better. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, come on up, seated position. Heels together, knees wide, seated star, lift hips close to heels, hands to your bum, push your knees down, lift your chest up. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Amazing job. Well done. Take some time now, do some more deep stretching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you did in the comments below. And if you want to get notified when I upload new videos, which is every Wednesday and Friday, click the little bubble up here to subscribe to my channel to support me in my YouTube adventure. Thank you and have a beautiful day.